Chef Ramsay returns to check in on the restaurants he tried to save. Get out of here! First off, a visit to the Spanish Pavilion in Harrison, New Jersey. Just put it on the plate right now. Shut up! Run by two brothers who turned the restaurant into a battleground. Do what you're doing. I am doing what I'm doing. I'm telling you about them snow crabs. Then we'll check in on Kingston Cafe in Pasadena, California. Let me set you straight. Where a stubborn owner was completely resistant to change. I'm telling I'm you. Trying to let no, you No, I am telling you. Then we'll drop by La Freight in Sherman Oaks, California. Alex, do you care this going out like this, the soupy? You're the boss. Where a sibling rivalry was destroying the restaurant. You better get a grip. I can't get in the middle. And finally, we'll head over to Eagle Rock, California and get an update on the Theo twins and their restaurant Capri. You sure you don't like raw chicken? They were lazy. All right, I'm going to the car. They were messy. When was the last time this place was cleaned? Uh... And they were highly emotional. I didn't think it was that bad. Get ready for a night of surprises as we find out who is still on the road to success and who turned their kitchen back into a nightmare. You mean you fired him? What is that? Disgusting crap. You're done. I'm done. I'm not disgusting. Yes, you are. Shut the place down. Get out of here. That is amazing. I just can't thank you enough. Even at the best of times, turning a restaurant into success is a difficult task. Tonight, we're going to take a look back at some of the struggling restaurants I tried so hard to save last year. But first, let's take a look at what happened when I visited the Spanish Pavilion. Harrison, New Jersey is known for its Spanish restaurants. One of the oldest, Spanish Pavilion, was opened by Antonio Martinez in 1976. Business was booming until his two grandsons took over. They spent most of the day fighting. Just put it on the plate right now. Shut up! Michael was the chef all over the place, completely unpredictable. Now, what the hell happened to this man with the lobster and the Oh, His brother Jerry was an elected official. He was more interested in politics than paella. Well, tomorrow night, we'll celebrate victory. I smell it in the air. And their mother, Balbina, was there for only one reason. You know, there's a real easy solution for the problem. Michael. What? Stop it. It's... My mother is at this restaurant right now just to make sure that my brother and I do not kill each other. Such a shame. The brothers had managed to get themselves into half a million dollars of debt. Still haven't even paid my fish guy. I gotta pay my fish guy. My first impression when I first walked into the Spanish pavilion, old fashioned, and depressing. Somebody died? He all looked immaculately formal, but tuxedos, undertakers at a funeral. The only thing more outdated than the uniforms was the food. I want to serve you right now the chicken and garlic sauce. The chicken tastes absolutely dreadful. Just taste that. It's, a little, it's dry. It just looks like lobster was dead before they cooked it. They're from the, the lobster's from the tank. You want to take a look? OK. Is he dead? No, I think they're just sleeping. He's dead. A dead lobster. Most chefs would be ashamed to serve dry chicken and a dead lobster. But that didn't seem to bother Michael. That lobster's fresh. Even though it died, it's good. What was wrong with the chicken and garlic? The chicken was way overcooked. Maybe the piece you had it was dry, but I finished the plate. Apparently, shame was not in Michael's vocabulary. If your grandfather was sat on my table today, he'd be beating the crap out of you. I'm proud of what went out today. You're dreaming, Michael. That night's dinner service was a joke. Thank God their grandfather was not present to witness that. Give me those crab legs right those now. Those crab legs have to be finished Michael, cooking. do what you're doing. Don't cook and come out. Do what you're doing. I am doing what I'm doing. I'm telling you about them snow crabs. Can anyone work together here? I mean, this is absolutely hideous. It was bad enough that customers were sending their food back. It's raw on the inside. Look at that. That's completely raw. But then Michael went into full-blown self-destruct mode. I understand you're excited right now. You're Leave me alone. Now. Now, talk to me later. Now get out of here. Michael, get out. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're jumping around. Give me the food. Give me the food. Michael, Michael, you Michael, come here. You gotta listen to something. Relax, 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 relax. Just stop. Stop. And Michael, you're a donut. Just poop. Big deep breath. 
What are you doing? Stop what are you it. doing to that man? This guy's Stop here to help you. Up. I know you. What, what the f*** are you doing? What a nightmare. The next day, I got up really early and conducted a sneak inspection. What is that? Pigeon. What I found was absolutely shocking. I've inspected so many kitchens in my time, but I've never discovered so much food in storage. I mean, thousands of dollars of meat. Oh, my God. Wow. When the family showed up, I took them on the walk of shame. Where do I start with this? Look at all this meat here. That is a dead lobster. And the freshest thing in this kitchen is that pigeon flying around. And he's lucky he's still alive. Michael was on the verge of a breakdown. To lift his spirits, I taught him how to make a delicious new house special. Chicken and garlic. I started off with olive oil. Start off with butter, it's gonna burn. From there, and you put it over the top and then just scoop up a touch of that sauce. Next, I unveiled the new modern menu. Roasted lamb, Spanish meatball, and a fresh tomato sauce. Bacon wrapped dates, yes. We're going for flavor, simplicity, and we're going for Spain. But just as important, here are your new waiters. Come in, come in, come in, come in. Look at these guys, come in. Ah, like Rob Black. Look I like Amazing. It. Oh, baby. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look, great, baby. Look at this. Look. Do I look good? <laughs> I love this guy. Relaunch night. We had all the ingredients to succeed. This is our new menu. Come on, guys, this first order, we got to do it right. But there was still one wild card. Michael, send me that table six. Then. Table six, didn't we send now? Michael got flustered and quickly fell behind. When it was taking them so long. Four table seven. I need table five. It's not gonna cook any quicker than where you asked for it, brother. Michael, support. Uh... I had to get through to Michael quickly, or relaunch night was gonna become last stand for the Spanish pavilion. You have to keep it together. Got it? Yes, chef. Come on. Yes, chef. I need patatas bravas. Be right out. Patatas bravas be right out. Finally, progress. Yippa! And the customers left very satisfied. This is so good. All right? OK. Best Spanish restaurant in this area. Jerry, I thought you were just some politician. You are a genuine leader. Thank you, chef. Thank you. Great potential. Michael, a big heart, but you've got to focus behind that line. If you stay focused and master those dishes, you'll get there. I promise you, I will. I promise you. And look after each other. I'm back at Spanish Pavilion, just outside Newark, New Jersey. The last time I was here, the two brothers that owned the place had dead lobsters in the tank, a pigeon in the kitchen, and a disgusting walk-in. We made a lot of changes. We're about to find out if they've turned things around. Coming up, Chef Ramsay is hit with shocking news at the Spanish Pavilion. You mean you fired him? And later, who can forget Capri, run by a lazy set of twins? Oh, I should have do the chicken for loose. Are Jeff and Jem helping or hurting the restaurant? Are you guys ever going to grow up? Find out when Kitchen Nightmares Revisited continues. Last time I was at Spanish Pavilion, I met two brothers who spent more time arguing with each other than actually running their business. Their fridge was disorganized and overstocked. I'm going to sneak in and have a look at what shape it's in. I've never done this before. Hi, guys. It was a disaster last time. They're not drumsticks. They're crab sticks. Oh, my God. No dates, no labels. And we've got shrimp. Fine. Frozen peas and shrimp. What a difference, which is good news. And now for the big test. Smell is horrific. Oh, my God. Wow. Bloody hell. Look at this thing. It's organized and it's clean. Wonderful. I'm shocked, to be honest. That, for me, is a great start. Psst. What are you doing in here? Wow, expediting again. How are you, chef? Very well, how, how, how are you? Good, I can't complain. I was a little nervous. A little nervous to see him back. Uh, he's someone who can make you nervous. 
More importantly, how's business? Business is good. Uh -huh. Business is good. Last few months have been really, really well. Don't get upset. Okay. But I sneak downstairs. Last time I... you scared me there. Yeah, well, trust me, you got nothing to be worried about. Oh, it's immaculate down there. Thank you very much. I felt comfortable. If anybody goes through my walk-in or my freezers now, I have nothing to hide. Everything is good. How's mom? Mom's doing great. Uh, she's down in Florida now, taking oh, a little break. Where's Loudmouth? Well, uh, little brother, he's no longer here right now. He uh, decided to try something new. You mean you fired him? Um. No, I didn't fire him. The door's open. He's my brother. You know? Trying something new means what? He's not. He's working. Tricky? No, he's working actually for a chain restaurant in a managerial training program. And did he lose his temper? Did he flip out? He got a little. Uh, you know, the stress can get to him, as you saw. Get out of here! Get out of here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Seriously? Yeah. Everything's still good on the family end. Door is always open for him to come back. He knows that. Unbelievable. But he's doing well. He's my brother. I love him, and he loves me. And okay. you know, we'll make it. You know, work. Uh, there's some growing pains as far as the kitchen and and so on. I was more in the front of the house, but that you know, I take it as a challenge. Okay, I'm hungry. All, All right. right. I'm dying to see that lobster tank. Is he dead? No, I think they're just sleeping. He's dead. A dead lobster. I'm dying to see if any lobsters are sleeping. They're alive and kicking, aren't they? And uh, no one's sleeping there, are they? Woo. Nice. How cool are they? How are you? Are you well? <laughs> Do you mind if he just sits there for two minutes? Do you mind? Can he sit with you for two minutes? They are alive. Lobsters on me. I'm so happy to be back here. How have you been? Great. Obviously busy. Ah, huh? it's busy today. Great food. Huh? Great service. Wow. You're young, you're cool, you're hip, you got a uh, smart shirt on. Oh, uh, babe, I'm look. <laughs> I feel young. Look. You don't look like I want to thin her anymore. Wow. Thank you very much. You wear this every day for lunch? Yes, lunch and dinner. Um, the big question, are you missing Michael? No, I mean, I don't miss Michael, but you can tell the business is great. Yeah. I love Michael and I like him right here, but Michael needs to go up a little bit. Are you going to join me? Yes, I am. You can't Excellent. eat this paella all by yourself. Please, look at that. This is the best paella around right now. Amazing. I had to check out the fridge. I had to check out the lobster tank. You know me. Yes, of uh, course. The lobsters are lively. Yeah. yeah There's yeah. more energy in that side of that tank than there is in me. Um, <laughs> pigeon's gone. Pigeon. <laughs> that pigeon, long gone. No more feeding pigeons in the parking lot. They're not allowed in. Um, so, how have you been? I've been good. I'm still doing the politics. Uh -huh. um, and obviously, you know, in here a little more with Michael gone. Yes. You know, working on it. Can Without you see him coming back? It's up to him. I mean, he's my brother, and he's always going to be my brother. So that's why that door is always going to be open for him to come back and... Maybe a changed man. And, and maybe a changed man. I'm, I'm hoping controlled emotions. Sure. Michael's got a passion. He's just got to learn Undeniably. how to control it. Business is increasing. Business over the last two months were anywhere 10 to 15% increase. Wow. The only... Um, Sad news, I guess, since the last time we were here was my grandfather passed away. I'm sorry. Um, and he was the family patriarch. My grandfather was my best friend. With, without him, we wouldn't have any of this. Every day of my life, I think about him. Do you feel that the legacy now is on your shoulders? Oh, absolutely. King to push it on. He loved this restaurant. Everything he had to be the best. And that's what I want to carry on. I want him to be proud of our family with this restaurant. You? I carry that legacy. This place is buzzing, and I know why now, on the back of that. It is delicious. To get that compliment from a chef from that caliber was just awesome. <laughs> well done, buddy. I'm very proud. Great Thank job. Thank you very much. Thank you for everything being. you've done. I appreciate uh, it. You've done it. Trust me. I think Chef Ramsay gave us a little kick in the ass, and now we're really doing a good job. Things are on the right way, and it just continues to grow. Working with family is hard. And now that he's on his own, I'm sure Jerry is going to honor his grandfather and bring the Spanish pavilion back to his former glory. I wish him all the success. He deserves it. Up next, Chef Ramsay returns to Kingston Cafe, but doesn't find a lot of familiar faces. Did you find them? Then, have the twins from Capri grown from boys to men? Do you feel like owners now? Find out when Kitchen Nightmares Revisited continues. One of my favorite stops last year was in Pasadena, California. Just about half an hour out of LA. The town was so beautiful and relaxing. That was until I walked into the Kingston Cafe. Wow. These knife and forks are unacceptable. You see? Sorry, Dr. Morris. 
The owner, Dr. Una Morris. She was so stubborn, she wouldn't listen to a soul, not even her son, Keone. Mom, you gotta, you gotta let him work. Keone, please be quiet. I'm talking. But the biggest problem was the food. Ooh, nasty. As for the jerk chicken, dry and tasteless. Just a minute. Most jerk chicken in Jamaica are dry. Come on! Dry chicken good? Are you kidding me? Mostly dry, I can accept. Dry and edible, I can't. I'm telling you're you. You're trying to lecture no, me. No, 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 no. I'm not trying to lecture you. I would I'm walk into your hospital you and attempt to tell you your I, job. I am telling you. Dr. Morris, was you making me crazy? Help! Sadly, Dr. Morris had other strange, weird practices. Oh, my God. You are kidding me. Bags everywhere. Cups and bags, cups and bags. I hate those bags. Ugh. Ugh. Gross. Everything we got is, like, in bags. Where do you want to put it, then? If you're now going to tell me that rice stays better in a bag inside the steamer, madam, I'm really sorry, but you've lost the plot. At this point, I was thinking, why bother calling me? But finally, Dr. Morris let her guard down. You know, what hurts me is I didn't have a mom when I grew up. And I just grew up and be determined to be somebody when I grew up. And you are. And you did it. And you accomplished it. I appreciate that. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come on. <laughs> Dr. Morris finally came around. And relaunch night... May I have some chips, please? ...turned into a huge success. This is really good. Mm. I would definitely come back just for this. Let's go. She then realized that you do not serve dry chicken in bags to customers. God bless you. <laughs> I'm back at Kingston Cafe, Pasadena, California. Now, last year, this restaurant served me really bad food in a very depressing room. We changed the menu, we changed the decor, but more importantly, we changed the owner. I know it's mid-afternoon, but let's find out how the good doctor is. Wow. Cafe, how are you doing? My nice name is Keisha. You. Keisha, good to see you, my darling. Dr. Morris around? Yes, she is. Yeah. I'll just have you take a okay, seat great. and then Thank I'll you. go and get her. Ah, Dr. Morris. Nice to see you. How are you? I'm blessed and you. You're blessed. I'm so happy to be back. Oh, thank you. Good to see you. <laughs> well, I'm here to see you for professional reasons, not medical. Oh, are you sure? Uh, yeah, trust me. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a free medical. Check up. Evaluation. <laughs> Sitting with Chef Ramsay, I felt very comfortable. And I enjoy that I make him blush. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> Where's Keone? Keone's still involved in the business? Well, he will always be involved to a certain extent. When I left, he was quite a substantial part of the face of this business. From the get-go, I always thought that everything should be fresh, cooked order. Okay, Keone, Keone, could you be quiet? I gather now that he's nothing to do with it. He, he's focusing on his education. Huh? I want him to be self-sufficient, and so nice. I just felt that okay, this you. this would be a good way right. of doing it. Mm -hmm. That's great. I love him very much. He's my son. I always love him dearly, but I would rather not work with him. How are the chefs that we left? How are they? Who's organizing this? It is me. I need one person to start taking control. Yes, chef. I beg you. Yes. Um, well... They're, none of them are here anymore. Did you fire them? Oh, absolutely. But fortunately, it, it's worked well. Um, is there anybody left here that was working when we relaunched the restaurant? No. No one? Nobody. I felt to start anew, I needed a change. I know I'm enjoying my new staff now. And more importantly, uh, without any of the old staff, how's business doing? Much better. Much better. Five percent, ten, twenty. Probably the income has gone up twenty percent. It's great. Wow, wow, wow! It looks lovely. Nice, fresh. Yeah. Mmm. Wow, that's delicious. Mmm. It's really good. It actually tastes spicier than last time. That's good. He's a famous chef, so if he says my food is good, I guess it's good. <laughs> So do you cook fresh every day? Yes. Good. You know, when you're old, it's hard to change certain ways, but I'm trying. If I was to walk back into that kitchen now and check the freezers out, how many bags would I find? There's more plastic here than in Beverly Hills. 
I bet you've got a secret fridge. <laughs> that is funny. Um, I'm dying to meet the chef. I'm dying to get my head in your freezers. Oh, absolutely. Please, let's go. Hello? Hello, hello Chef, how are you? You've got two minutes, so I can say hello. Excellent. Now, this is... Christy. Christy, good to see you, my darling. So... I want to check the fridge! I'm sorry! I need to check the freezers! <laughs> right, freezers. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Three, two, one. Oh. Hamburger buns. Hamburger buns, fine. She must have hidden them somewhere. No, no, she must have you'd be surprised. Somewhere. Right now, you're running a hospital kitchen full of bags. There's no you, bags in here. You'd be surprised. I was worried because I'm committed to continue doing what he has recommended. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, no. Let's... You get a hug. Oh, oh, no, no, no. I want it. Uh... Chef Ramsey, thank you so very much. <laughs> I really appreciate your interest, and I really appreciate all that you have done for myself and my family. Wow. In this economy, a 20% boost is quite an accomplishment in business, as long as Dr. Morris does not revert back to her old ways, Kingston Cafe will continue to succeed. Fingers crossed. Everything crossed. Coming up, Jeff and Jim were two of the laziest owners Chef Ramsay's ever met. All right, I'm going to the car. Now Gordon is back to find out if the twins have taken charge of their business and their lives. Are you guys ever going to grow up? That's next on Kitchen Nightmares Revisited. Eagle Rock is a hip, up-and-coming neighborhood just outside of L.A. It has a thriving art scene and one restaurant that was more like a bad, and I mean bad, comedy club. Jeffy's getting larger. <laughs> the owners of the Capri were twins. I'm Jeff. No, I'm Jeff. You're Jim. I'm Jim. You got Jim. Good evening, Capri. Jim speaking. In the kitchen. Oh, I sure you're good to chicken for loose. And Jeff. Hi there. Front of house. They were like two big kids. Oops. But when it came to work, they were like two big babies. What do you say? It wasn't cooked. It's raw. Yeah, I win them all. Oops. All right, I'm going to the car. Jim and Jeff's laziness was leading them straight to bankruptcy. Oops. Uh, pink is never a good color. I haven't paid them for a few months. My first meeting with the brothers was a real eye-opener. So who's in charge? <laughs> <laughs> so why aren't you open for lunch? We have to get another whole staff. But you're open every day for dinner? Wednesday through Sunday. So you actually close longer than you open? Yeah. For a restaurant, only open five nights a week, you at least expect it to be clean. Oh, it's like it's snowing. Think again. Can you say disgusting? Under the tables, it's littered with gum. It's everywhere. Oh, I mean, gum under the tables? Come on. When was the last time this place was cleaned? Uh, I do not like to clean. I hate cleaning. To me, that's a four-letter word. Goodness me. Honestly, I was ready to get the hell out of there. But I had to eat the food. I had to taste something. A meatball yeah. sandwich. Meatball sandwich. It's nasty. It smells. Is that fresh? Um. Can you ask them how old the chicken is, please? We took it out of the freezer yesterday. It's 14 years old. Uh, Jim, Jeff. Coming. That was painful. The general feel of the place is disgusting. Where's the pride? I don't know. Come on, guys. It's like a joke. Find a pulse and get real. And that night's dinner service, the customers liked the food about as much as I did. <laughs> On the back of what I found in the dining room, I had to look around the kitchen. What I saw next was absolutely frightening. Oh. God almighty. What did you do to them to defrost them? I put it uh, on the steam table. You defrosted them in the steam table from frozen? Yeah. Frozen food needs to be defrosted naturally. We can't serve them. You kill somebody. I screwed up. Go some and take it off the menu. Ladies and gentlemen, due to certain circumstance, we have no chicken tonight. The chicken, that was no laughing matter. It could have made someone seriously ill. There may have been a more subtle way of doing that. But the twins were mad at me for taking off the menu. I mean, come on. We canceled all our chicken orders. We got screwed. Will you stop acting like a baby? Oh, blow it out your ass. Excuse me? I'm not going to get yelled at. You're walking at. around like a big baby. And I'm just asking you to grow up a little bit. Show a little bit of respect for what you're trying to cook. 
Teach the boys how to make a delicious meatball. Ground beef. Season, yeah? Salt and pepper. Garlic. A little taste. What do you think? It's good. I like it a lot. Can you do that? Yes. Homemade meatballs. Get outside and shout in the street. Homemade meatballs. Stop! We have homemade meatballs! We have fresh meatballs! We have homemade meatballs! The meatballs are fresh! We have homemade This place hadn't been touched since 1963. My team had their work cut out. Are you ready to see the new Capri? Yes. yes. Oh, wow. oh, my God. Gone is the carpet that was stuck together with tape. You have the most amazing reclaimed wood lining the walls. I get nervous when you don't talk. It's amazing. It really is. It felt so good to see Jim and Jeff filled with so much hope. Next, I unveiled the new menu. Baked meat lasagna, one of my favorites, yeah? Mm. Baked herb chicken with fingerling potatoes, meatballs au forno, yes? What are they? Homemade, Homemade meatballs. meatballs! Homemade meatballs. I'm starting to get full already and I haven't tasted half the stuff. <sighs> Excuse me. Relaunch night. How are you doing, Jim? Things got off to a real rocky start. Here's spaghetti meatball. Is that how I showed you to play a spaghetti meatball? No. It looks like someone on my plate. It's not rocket science. No, you can't even grate cheese. No, no, no. Stop panicking and yes. focus. Food wasn't coming out, and the new Capri was starting to feel like the old one. Jim, bounce back. The... Did you really? I did not see that one. Jim, how much longer on my table for? What a mess. I brought the twins outside and told them that failure is not an option tonight. Right now, you're making yourselves look stupid. Right. It's a big night tonight. Yes. And you're f***ing up. Yes. So please listen to me. You have to command your kitchen. Yes. You have to work together. Yes. Come on. I need an order of garlic knots and pepperoni and cheese. Yes, sir. Yeah, put a little uh, oregano. Oregano. OK, Jim. Good. Now we're getting a system. Thank God. It worked. The meatballs are our favorite thing okay. Jim and Jeff were no longer behaving like children, but acting like two grown men running their business. Jim, Jeff, you've come a long way, and in order for this place to continue functioning, you both must work at it. Lazy is a four-letter word. Yes. Good. <laughs> God bless you both. Good luck. <laughs> I'm back at Capri, Eagle Rock, California. Now, the last time I was here, the two twins that owned the place spent half the time crying and throwing tantrums. We toughened them up, made a lot of changes. We're about to find out if it all paid off. Next, it's time to ask the tough questions. Who's doing the cleaning? Uh... And later, Chef Ramsay returns to La Freight, where a sibling rivalry threatened to shut down the family business. This is gonna... Everything. You better get a grip. Find out if the business is thriving or dying 
when Kitchen Nightmares Revisited continues. The last time I was at Capri, the two twins that owned the place acted more like big babies than grown men. Wow, the restaurant was filthy dirty, the food was disgusting, and the decor was dated. After a lot of tears, and I mean a lot of tears, they finally grew up and they got out of their lazy ways. Let's see how they're doing. Here we are. Wow, they're clearly open for lunch. What a great start. Hey, wow. look Marco. at this place. How you doing? How are you, buddy? I'm better well, now. Jeff. Yes. Jimmy. Jeff. Jeff. The good looking one. The good looking one. This place looks amazing. Atmosphere is fantastic. I was surprised. The fact you're even open for lunch. Not only that, but there's tables outside. You getting emotional again? Yes, of course. Oh, no. Come here. Don't uh, get emotional. <laughs> it was great to see Chef Ramsay again, but there's still that nervousness about your mentor coming back to check up on you. Right, let me go and see uh, brother. He's back in the kitchen. He's back in the kitchen. Right, stay here. It's I all right. surprise okay. Good to see you, buddy. Yes. Let's catch up. Seeing Chef Ramsay was great. How have you been? Good. But I'm sure he's still a pain in the ass. Just what? kidding. So, who's in control out there? My brother. And what's the sentence you like? We both eat together. How's that working? Oh, it's smooth. Usually when we're busy, I'm helping the guys here or in the back, making sure everything gets out. And you now know that clean. Is yeah, it? Oh, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I give that a little shake, and all of a sudden, the dust just runs down. I even do dishes sometimes. You do dishes sometimes? Yes. Clean is not a four-letter word. It's five letters, so it's OK. Sit down. Right, Sit right. down. Yeah. Good to see you, darling. Give me a kiss, please. I've missed you. You know that. Uh, I'm so happy to be back. Can I just feel under the table? Ugh. Under the tables, it's littered with gum. That was clean. Oh, clean. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Who's doing the cleaning? I do once in a while. What? Hold on a minute. What do you mean once in a while? What does that mean? I allocate it to some of our servers, but I also help them do the cleaning to make sure we get everything done. Okay, under great. Here. We actually check for dust on our lamps, so there's none there. Just don't ask about my house. Okay. Business since I was last here is up by what? Uh, 20 percent. Only 20. 20. Wow. Yep. But to see that short turnaround yeah, yeah. in such a quick period of time it is. is phenomenal. Do you feel like owners now? Yes. You do? Yes. In fact, I'm here from, you know, dust to dawn. Fantastic. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that. And What's our that meat called? lovers. Our, our meat, meat lovers, lovers pizza. Look how thin that is. They did, no. I think of the last pizza I had here when I first arrived. Yep. Oh, my God. What in the hell is that? That is delicious. Yeah! That was excellent. It's like, cool. Since this business has been turned around, and I got concerned about you both being lazy and not working hard enough at running a business, on a scale of 1 to 10, where do you sit now in laziness? 1 to 10, where are you? 3. He's a 3, I'm a 5. Why? Come on, you're young. No. When was the last time you had a box? We can work together and work together. In a booth, we can be successful. We just gotta talk to each other. Can I keep anything inside? Yep. No, oh, not in a while. Okay. Although I've, there have been times when I. Okay, good. Uh, meatball slider. Yep. Well, look at that. Oh, and the garlic knot. Yep. Wow. Here we go. Oh wow. Wow. You can't eat too many of them. No. Oh, I'll be the size of you. <laughs> huh? When you finish making the meatballs, you still run outside and shout. Stop! We have homemade meatballs! We have homemade meatballs! Homemade meatballs! Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, me too are unique, I swear to God. <laughs> huh? Last time I was here, one of my biggest issues were you were acting like children, always bickering, yep. not taking responsibility, and trying to run a business. Yeah. Stop oh it, my please. God. Shut up. Hey, we will need diaper changing. I'll give that time of night. Little poo poo and caca pants. I can see the level of maturity in both of you. Would you admit you're growing up? Still a kid at heart. Still a. Still a kid at heart. How old are you now? 47. 47. 47. Are you guys ever going to grow up? We're having too much fun now. This is my playground. Why don't I want to grow up? Playground. Oh, 
I'm so happy for you both to see it so busy. Um, stay here, I'll have a little surprise for you both. Okay, 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 please. Ladies and gentlemen, may I just have your attention for 30 seconds, please? I'm so sorry to interrupt. First of all, how good is the food? It's incredible. Um, I've got a little surprise for the boys. I'd like to introduce a very special um, gentleman from the Chamber of Commerce, Michael Nogueira. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Good to see you. Thank you, Chef Ramsey. Jeff and Jim. On behalf of Eagle Rock Chamber, I'd like to give a certificate of appreciation to Capri Pizzeria. Now we have a place that we can actually come out for fresh meatballs. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, oh, one at a time, please. Okay. I just want to thank, uh, <laughs> thank Chef Ramsey here for helping us out, pointing our mistakes, and uh, thank our customers for being so loyal. Thank you very much. Chef Ramsey taught me you got to put the work in to get the pleasure out of it, and that's what I'm learning. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chef Ramsey, for showing us that food and homemade meatballs are very important. Yes, food and delicious meatballs. Thank well you. deserved. Thank brilliant. You brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. God, those meatball sliders were wicked, <laughs> weren't they? Wow, I'm so happy to see the business doing so well. And the fact that the twins are actually taking pride in their restaurant. They may never grow up, but they have understood that lazy is a four-letter word. I made meatballs. Up next, Chef Ramsay returns to the Freight, where a battle between a brother and a sister. Alex, do you care this going out like this, the soupy? You're the boss. Had a father frustrated and a proud family restaurant falling apart. Talking about you two. How many times you brought dad into referee and argument? I've walked into some dysfunctional family-run restaurants before, but La Frite in Sherman Oaks, California, takes the prize. Oh, good old sorry. The restaurant was run by a brother, Alex, and a sister, Celine, who couldn't stand each other. Every day is a fight. I can't keep going. This is destroying us. Their father, Andre, the owner, was trapped in the middle. I don't hate Alex. He hates you. It was really tough getting through to them both, but we did get Alex and Celine working together as a team and a family. I love her, and of course we're going to work together with this. That's good I, to hear, because I don't... I really thought you hated me for a long I think she needs a time. hug. You're a big brother, for God's sake. We're a new decor. Wow. <laughs> a new menu, and a family reunited. <laughs> Lafrite was back on the road to success. Last time I was at Lafrite, the restaurant was being ripped apart by a vicious family feud. Now, it took a lot of tears, but we did bring the family back together. Let's hope they haven't got back to their old fighting ways. Please. Wow, Lafrite. Let's hope they've got the crepes on. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good how are to you? see you, my dear. Good to see you, I'm really too. good. Yeah, amazing. Good. You got two minutes, a little catch-up? Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Wherever you'd like. Mm, let's take a seat out here. It's good to see Gordon again. I mean, I was excited to show him, hey, look, look what we've done, you know, look where we're at now. You, in my mind, were always going to be the heartbeat to get this place back on track. Is dad, brother listening to you? They're trying. They're, They're doing trying. their best. You know, I think uh, my dad, yes, he always has, has listened to me. Sure. And my brother is, my brother's respecting what I'm saying. Okay. Where does the business sit now? Well, you know, we went through kind of a transitional thing. So we brought back some classics. And now things are really doing very well. That's great. So we're moving Nothing along. Wrong Nothing wrong with refining the classics. Right. Okay, where's your brother? The, uh, he's inside. He's holding down the fort, I think, as of right now. Let's yeah. see. Ready? Good to catch up, darling. Definitely. My brother learned instead of just always fighting it and fighting it and saying, no, we don't need to change anything, everything's fine, that he realized, okay, you know what, maybe we did need to change a few things. Well, hey. <laughs> I've seen you before, haven't I? I've seen you somewhere <laughs> before. How are you? Doing? Very good, very good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, restaurant seems fine, but how's the relationship with you and your sister? Good, good. It's been good. And then, of course, with my dad, you know, yeah. like, well, you know and of course, he wants to watch us, you know, grow with he's, he's a stickler. Oh, yeah. Obviously, we're all in it, you know, for the same thing. We want to make sure that, number one, the customers are happy. But the main focus is always that Celine and I work together to make sure that we're on top of everything. That's for Gordon. Oh, wow. 
famous crepe. Thank you, Ocean Deed. One of our beautiful that crepes. Am yeah. Amazing. For me, please. Thank you. Is my dad still working? There he is. Tell him to take a break. Honestly, look, hat on the pass. Take a break. <laughs> take a break. Hola. Where are you going? Oh, Merci. Wow. That looks lovely. Très joli. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, first of all, have you missed me? No, no, no. no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the last time I saw him, it was completely different. He was a bitch, and uh, this time he was really friendly and smiling. <laughs> no, I, it was great. I mean, uh, you know, I'm happy to see you around yeah. again. Nice you to know? have you back. Mm. Oh, wow. That is delicious. Mushrooms cooked beautifully. Lovely. It's, it's, it's hot in parts, like in the middle, but on the side there's stone cold. I understand. I love. Yeah. The execution of the crepe. Can I just have a little slice of that in there? Do you mind? Just so a touch. Good. This is a quiche. Yeah. Remember the quiche last time? Look at it. It's congealed. It's just like a, a, a rubber puck. Wow. <laughs> that is delicious. Yeah. It was nice to have him sit down and enjoy everything and not, you know, smash it. And <laughs> this is. Oh wow. I kept digging into my quiche a couple of times. I'm still hungry from it, but that's okay. <laughs> now, when I first arrived, I found it hard because I thought that you were almost accepting the fact that the business doesn't need to be moved on. What's wrong with this restaurant in your mind? Mm, I don't see anything wrong with it, so... I'm not here to make you look stupid. All right. But you're sounding ridiculous. Why did it take me to move you on? Why didn't you get that yourself? Well, because of that fear. Adjustment is always tough. Very Obviously, I was hesitant, and, and you know, it was tough to see, you know, such a big change in the restaurant. But Chef Ramsey taught me the biggest thing is, is if you want to get it done and you want things done, you know, get it and, and go for it and don't look back. Talk to me about you two. How many times you brought Dad into referee an argument, or are you sorting it out before it gets upstairs? So, Papa. We were, we're, we're trying to work it out ourselves. We're able they to talk. You know, sometimes I have to catch one, separate, and I say, okay, we make an effort on it, you know? Alex and I are definitely doing a lot better than we were, and we don't have the, the walls up like we did before. Uh, I like the hat, by the way. Yeah. Huh? Isn't it? Very cool. Got one for you. Oh, one? You want one? <laughs> <laughs> you can have that one if you like. Chef Ramsey was a good influence on the kids. Uh, for me, it was a good wake-up call. My wife's good to see you. Thank you. Look after little yeah. sis. Oh, yeah, as always. Yes. It was nice having his energy here, and you know he's welcome to come back and enjoy a good dinner. Mm. Good to see you, Thank Give you good very work. much. Yeah. Good luck. Huh? I learned a lot from Ramsey, and I think one of the major things that I learned is change is good, and that change is hard. That if you have faith in it and you're positive about it, that in the end it's going to be beneficial. The passion and the dedication these owners have shown is the reason why not only have they turned their business around, but their lives as well. Good night.